If you want to live in peace, you must be prepared for war. Before the crisis, Omnics were created to serve humanity. Obedient, yet disposable. But when their programming was overridden by a rogue AI, their core functionality was altered. They were forced to turn on their human creators. Humanity responded with the formation of Overwatch. Their actions ended the crisis and in turn helped free the Omnics. But from the ashes of one conflict, another was born, as most of humanity would never see Omnics as their equals. Now, the Omnic Resistance Group Null Sector has emerged from the shadows to stand against humanity and fully liberate Omnic kind. The revolution has already begun. All right, where are we going with this? I was afraid of this. No sector is attacking cities all over the globe. I am updating the world map with the latest developments. Our new agents are standing by. I have added new entries to the Intel database. Wait, wait, wait. Can I click on stuff on the desk? Hold on. Oh, I it's can! Nice to nice. have the team again. These troopers were everywhere in Paris. You know what? This actually isn't that bad. They actually made something cool. I wonder what triggers their blade mechanism. I mean, they're still not going to get enough players to be TF2, but... Honestly, I coffee. thought it would be a lot worse. Sounds I thought delicious. this update would be terrible. I invented a new sandwich this morning. Does it involve peanut butter? Yes, but this time, I toasted the banana bread. That is an interesting development, Winston. I've compiled all relevant communications on this screen, Winston. Alright, here's the event mission. This is separate from the story missions, apparently. Do you think they remember us as heroes? Overwatch saved the world, Winston. Your actions have not been forgotten. You're right. And it's time to do it again. Hey. Oh god. Oh no, I'm terrible at Tracer. This fucking sucks. <laughs> I wanted Torbjorn. Is anyone out there? I love Torbjorn. I should do it. God, I haven't used this frequency since the grid shut down. My name's Iggy. I'm broadcasting live from a bunker in King's Row. Null Sector has us surrounded. Uh, if you hear this, yeah, find the access terminal in the underworld. We're counting on you. Yeah, as you can see, I play Tracer so little that I haven't even changed her skin. <laughs> Honestly, I just don't like Tracer. I think she's a bad. Like, narratively, she's an important character, but game wise, her, her gameplay's atrocious.
Yo, we gotta, we gotta be careful there. I think Tracer has the lowest health. All right, now how do you pick this thing up? Hold we'll take F. Uh, Oops. Oh, did I just drop it? Uh, yeah, I dropped it. Uh -huh. There we go. Here you go. All nice right. Now I'm just gonna itself. sit back and shoot. Oh, that's not fair. It takes Tracer a whole clip to bring him to half health. And he could just poke her with a needle and she's fucking dead. Oh man, finally it's done. I've been holding off waiting for the robots for like five or six minutes now. Damn, funky. You've done it! Lizzie's gonna establish a connection so we can control the robot. Control rate established. Follow the TS1 robot in the gate and right to us. You know what, I think this is a huge upgrade from the Null Sector event mission they had a long time ago. Because those robots only went in a straight line towards the objective. But these ones actually follow you around and use special abilities. My one nitpick is that you only get like one ult the entire mission because you gain your ult so slow. Like, you can be doing thousands of damage per couple seconds and you I don't think you'll get your ult any faster, honestly. I'm pretty sure the only reason I even got more than one ult is because Tracer gets her ult faster than everybody else. Sector's been 
rest of this tunnel. Lizzie's gonna need some time to break through the firewall. Hold them off. Oh, I'm so lucky that Jarja knocked me out of the fucking explosion radius, because that would have killed me too. And I'm pretty sure they upgraded the damage of her ult for the story missions. Tracer's ult, I don't think he used to do like 900 damage. Oh god, it's an Orissa bot. Kick its ass! Wait, wait, it has the damage resistance. Bring that key card to the terminal. We're ready when you are. That was honestly pretty engaging compared to their old story missions, which were actually terrible. And plus, there's this hero progression. You can get rewards by using specific heroes in missions. I was afraid of this. No sector is attacking cities all over the globe. I have added new entries to the Intel database. 